please welcome to the blue corner, Alexia Delgadillo. Alexia Delgadillo. San Antonio stand up. Fighting out of San Antonio, training at Unity Training Center 2-0, the 29-year-old Alexia Delgadillo. Looking to continue her winning ways. Second time inside the Fury. Cage as an amateur. Had that really nice finish at Fury FC 73. Very technically sound and her ground and half is perfect. Yeah, we heard from the matchmakers that they were really excited about this matchup. Really exciting matchup. Uh, you know, Alexia Delgadillo, we saw her last time, like you said, Raheel. Very exciting, very sharp, very technical. So, you know, always in good shape. Very small, though. Very, yeah. very small. You wouldn't believe how small she is from here. I mean, she, I don't know what she lifts herself at, but I mean, she's got to be five foot tall. Five, two. Here is Wayne. That's her Please welcome to the red corner, Alexandra Carlson. Alexandra Carlson, 2-1 record, third time fighting for us as an amateur here at Fury FC. Coming off that loss to Via Gra at Challenger Series in October. A quick finish in round two, but she is tough. Very similar to Alexia, by the way. Like, when I went back and watched both fighters, they remind me of each other. So it's going to be a good matchup. The clinch and grapple heavy. Yeah. Gets bonus points walking out to Kanye. Yeah, it's kind of a tough draw in, in fighting Mia. I mean, you can tell they both had a big gap in experience, and Mia's style is tough for any girl. Mia really put it on her pretty quick. Yeah. And that was a good uh, a lesson for Alexandra to see, like, what kind of level you need to be at at a higher level of amateurs for championship belts. And it looks like it motivated her to train hard and come back in here and fight again. Crowd just cheering on Alexia Delgadillo. Even while Alexandra's walking out, our tail of the tape brought to you by Space City Collective. 5 2 for Alexia. The height advantage and reach advantage go to Alexandra Carlson, a 27 year old. Both fighters did make weight for this flyweight showdown. Here's weight. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest brought to you by Space City Collective is scheduled for three rounds in the Fury Amateur Series Flyway Division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This freestyle fighter stands five feet two inches tall and she weighed in at 124.6 pounds. Fighting out of San Antonio, Texas. She's undefeated as an amateur with a record of two wins. No losses. This is La Patrona, Alexia Delgadillo. And introducing her opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist is five feet, five inches tall, and she weighed in at 122.6 pounds. Fighting out of San Antonio, Texas, by way of La Crosse, Wisconsin, she holds an amateur record of two wins, only one defeat. This is Alexandra Carlson. Your referee in charge, Joel Ojeda. The bearded ref, Joel Ojeda, gets the assignment. First women's fight of the night. Also, first Wisconsin fighter for Fury. And immediately, Delgadillo on the attack. Yeah, I'm going to challenge Delgadillo on that five foot two. <laughs> I think she's five foot. <laughs> Yeah, she was able to just kind of pressure forward while Alexandra was throwing a kick, knocked her off balance, scored her early takedown. They're fresh, they're dry. Yeah, Delgadillo is a savage too. I mean, she immediately pounced on her, kind of moving, aggressively moving forward, got her up against the cage, got her down to the mat. And now here we are putting constant pressure, that shoulder pressure to the face. Trying to sneak that right leg. So technical. She's almost like San Antonio Mia Gras. 
She can get that right knee out. Hey, hey, nice mm. little sweep there from Alexandra. Carlson's got to be careful here from this position. Although the legs are very short of, of uh, Alexia Delgadillo. You don't want to get caught with one of those up kicks. Now on the half guard here on the top. Good switch of momentum from Carlson. Trying to sneak that left arm in. Decent guillotine mm. position. Yeah, she, she that right leg over. Yeah, she wraps that around. She may have it. But it's deep. If she hand fights yeah. now, does Delgadillo. Little cement mixer action. Nice reversal, potentially. And this is where Alexandra needs to like just wrench and crank to her right side. And you can make them go to their back. Yeah, this she is a very uncomfortable position. She can't let that head clear. Both girls did end up giving up top position due to some technical issues on their attacks. Delgadillo looking for that third win, has packed the Boeing Center at Techport Arena. These are all Alexio fans. Let's say Alexander's looking to set up an arm bar. For MMA, you gotta slap those on just fast. Yeah, she's trying, you can see she's trying to hold those arms really, really deep and trying to keep the elbow down against the body. Come on, Alex. And this place just erupted when Alexa Delgadillo slammed Carlson. La Patrona. Delgadillo, 10 seconds left to work from the top here. After that big slam, that was explosive, by the way. <laughs> Can't wait to see a replay of that one. From the jump, Delgadillo was on the attack. Yeah, it looks like she caught that kick, Raheel, and then just kind of ran forward with it. And then Carlson just ran out of room, fell right before she got to the cage. And then Carlson had some good moments there in the first round. But Alexia was able to reverse her, able to get back to the top, had a big slam there. Not a ton happened for either for either one of the ladies in the first round, but very difficult round to call. I'd have to give it to Alexia against Delgadillo, but very, very close. Plus, Alex, we had a split decision in the last fight, again, that we thought was 30-27 pretty easy. So, yeah. man, you do not want these to go to the judges' scorecards tonight. Very unpredictable. Man, I hate that that's the case sometimes, too. I mean, the yeah. judges literally they have one job, and it's not that hard. It's really not. Oh, good flurry from La Patrona. Oh! Alexandra's reaction when she's getting swarmed is not great, man. She kind of leans back and sticks her chin up. Again, she has, if she can connect her hands on the backside, she can get a nasty little reversal. There it is. But you just got a wrench, and I'm telling you, drive like your lat into the back of their head, and it just really wrenches on the neck. There's even and a neck there. crank finish if you get them on the ground. Alexander really just needs to rotate hard, but you got to keep that head pinned. And, and I know it well because it's it's a really good follow-up reversal to a failed guillotine. If like you have the guillotine locked, but they're not going to tap, you can just bring your choking in under their armpit, connect your hands behind their back, and just wrench on the neck. And most guys will happily roll to their back. Don't get a heel here on top, but really able to do much. Carlson kind of holding those arms in tight. So Alexia not able to posture up, not able to deliver any punches from here. Carlson really needs to get those hips kind of out to the side, needs to swing one side to the other to be able to have any attacks from here. She's kind of been flat on her back. You can see she's trying to set a few things up, but just it's, it's really ineffective if you're going to be flat on your back for anything other than maybe a triangle. But just not in a good position for that. You're never going to get a triangle with your shoulders up off the mat. No. 
And she's, she, yeah, that was huh? a decent angle, but I don't think she's got the arm deep enough. Mm. I mean, I can see the elbow. She's got to reload that arm. And it's doable. Alexandra Bottom's got to like really pull Delgadillo's left elbow as deep past her hip line as possible. Yeah, pull both hands right above that glove and pull it in and push your hips all the way up. Try to elevate your hips, get some space in there so you can pull that glove down in, and then you can finish the arm bar. I mean, there's, there's a threat here. Is there enough room for her to do that, Michael? I don't know. Delgadillo's got some short arms there. You can see the elbow past the fulcrum point, so not really in trouble here. And, and Delgadillo's doing a good job of staying heavy near the knees because that's where you, you know, you can't get any extension if you're trying to, if you're having to lift them with your knees. Now she's going to high guard here. This is a little bit better position for Carlson. Way back in the day in the UFC. Now, granted, it was heavyweights. Tim Sylvia versus Frank Mir. Tim Sylvia clears his elbow, but Frank Mir cranks on his arm anyway and breaks his forearm. Yeah. But that's heavyweight. So you got heavyweight bridges and heavyweight forearm bone length. Doesn't really translate nearly as well to these smaller girls. Is the angle's good. See, this is a better this, arm bar. Yeah. This is a tight oh, arm bar. Oh, we run Not out of time. time. Yep. All right, so we will go to our final round in our first fight for the women. Man, Delgadillo had the look of a savage there on her face. <laughs> she wanted to finish this fight in the second round, but Carlson very, very tough. Got dumped here, was on the bottom for a lot of this round, Alex, but was able to throw up a few submission attempts. Some, some good, not, some not so good, but showing that she can be dangerous in that bottom position. We still have our amateur bantamweight title in our women's division coming up. Olivia Beerley taking on Alexis Apodaca. But first, the third round. Between Delgadillo, Carlson. Delgadillo can keep this standing, unleash her striking package. Ooh, nice right hand there by Delgadillo. Delgadillo kind of shaking her head like, oh my God, it landed flush. How does she still standing? That lead right hook from the Sao Paulo and Carlson is actually meeting its mark. Instead of the high kick in the back, this butt. Oh, oh look out. Man. Let's see what Carlson's got from the top position here. She hasn't been in this good. This is the best position she's been in this entire fight. There is no escaping this. Those are good shots. Delgadillo, yeah, she needed a shit. I mean, she got a, she got a bridge. You can't stop here. Keep punching the orders from Carlson's corner. Joel O'Hara looking on. He has been a little bit slower to stop fights and has given the fighters every opportunity. I'd say Carlson has to finish in this third round, and I'm pretty sure she lost the first two. With these judges, there's no telling, but... I mean, right here, she's got to switch that figure four. Get that right foot under that left knee. There we go. Oh, I think oh. there's no shoulder cruncher. Just correct that angle. She's got a figure four. Still has a chance here. No, Doug, do you don't punch. Oh, that's a tight arm bar. Here we go. Oh, oh, wow. Ah. The leg's not quite over the head. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> and now the guillotine trying to slip in that left arm. Not enough. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Delgadillo had her arm fully extended there. Carlson with a beautiful arm bar. But, man, Delgadillo, fully extended arm, Alex, she was not going to tap. No. 
Yeah, Alexandra Sinner, or uh, Carlson, her, her leg was out of, out of position to like really control, you know, the spine of Gil Doug Dio. Now La Patrona trying to put something together with about 10 seconds left. This place is going nuts. All right, we are going to go to the judges' scorecards once again. What a fantastic third round. Look at our highlights for round three. Watch the right hook here of uh, Carlson. Hey, I'm Dave Lance here in just a second. It was a good one, too. Not that one. There was a clean run on the chin before they started grappling. Out, hits a good round of packs, a good on bar chance. That was over, Blocks that legs are going to clear in a second. Yeah, yeah. Very, very tall, very good submission defense there from Delgadillo. Very good awareness that, you know, her arm was not in a position to break. So she, she knew she, that if she tapped, it might have hurt a little bit, but. Comes back out of that, I think she probably won this fight, but man, what an entertaining fight, what an entertaining third round. We all have winning right now. I think it's Delgadillo, but I'm not, I'm not saying, We're I'm not, not making any predictions yeah. with these judges. We've already had some questionable score cards tonight yeah. here in San Antonio. We'll see how the judges scored this one, and I think we're in for a surprise based on the reaction I just saw, but here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of combat, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision brought to you by HKA USA. Judge Ruben Carrion scores the fight 30-27, Carlson. Judge Gino Garcia scores the fight 29-28, Delgadillo. And Judge Ray Campo scores the fight 29-28, declaring your winner by split decision, Alexandra Carlson! I mean, 30-27 uh, on won, one score card, right? She won round three to Carlson, yeah. but she lost that first round. He's Man, I think uh, I think Carlson was even surprised that she was announced as the winner. I don't know, man. Now, to be fair, Carlson had the arm bar in round two, which was like, almost to finish, kind of. So yeah, I can see that scoring, but, but man. All right, we'll talk about that in a second, but let's meet our next.